June might be the most important month for all cryptocurrencies, but before that, today's video is sponsored by Fairdesk, a premier crypto exchange specializing in futures, spot, and copy trading. Use my link to join today and enjoy special perks including extremely low fees. Dive into the future of trading with Fairdesk where you can copy the best traders around. Today we're going to be looking a lot at moving averages. Last time we had a death cross where we saw both the 20 and the 50 day moving averages crossing back down below the 200. We had a very bad experience. As you guys remember, I was shouting from the rooftops about this and you can see how bad of an event it was. This led to a catastrophe in the cryptocurrency markets. And one of the reasons we're so scared right now is, of course, since mid April, Bitcoin has been going down and down and down even though we've been seeing stuff like the NASDAQ and the SPY go up and up and up. So Bitcoin is no longer pegged to the NASDAQ, to the S&P, which sucks because when we thought this may happen, we were expecting the NASDAQ and the SPY to go down or sideways and Bitcoin really going to all time highs. That's not happening. We're getting the opposite because of this massive AI boom. And unfortunately, cryptocurrencies aren't getting any of this AI money. It's all just going to the big tech companies because everybody wants to see what they're going to be able to do with it, especially like Nvidia. So when we're looking at Bitcoin right now, we are still in this downtrend. We have no such thing as some type of bullish divergence. We're not seeing it just yet. And everything is pointing to later on this month, we are going to be heading for a death cross, or if we're lucky, maybe it won't come into sometime into July. However, if you guys are expecting a nice move to come up with, there's a few good buying opportunities that I want you guys to pay attention to. The first one obviously is going to be, since we're in this flag setup at this point, you are gonna be looking for a breakout opportunity. If we are lucky enough to break out, that's gonna be your number one opportunity to buy. It's gonna be the easiest thing for you to buy. On the other hand here, if you're looking at something more of a support level instead of a breakout, you're gonna be looking at something all the way down here below $25,000. Again, below $25,000 on Bitcoin is where you guys are gonna to wanna to buy. If we wanna add on some technicals here, even though this was a pretty crazy drop that we had seen just because it was during a banking crisis, you guys might wanna add on some Fibonacci retracements. And you can see right here, we did have one attempt at holding. The next attempt, we got dumped upon here. This was due to some news coming out about some of the stuff going on with the debt ceiling crisis. However, we still did break down below this. So far today, we're trying to hold it again. However, if we do break down below this, that next stop is going to be right around here of 25217 And if you're lucky, you may see a wick that pulls it back down here below the $25,000 level. And that's where I am personally going to want to strike this up and buy up as much as I can. One other thing here, if we remove all of this data here off the charts, a couple things. Look at the weekly charts. We are currently resting on the 220 week moving averages. This is a good level of support for us. Hopefully we aren't forced to break down below it, but you guys can see there has been some weakness over the past month. If we're able to hold above this, we could have an enormous move back up to 30,000, even the 32,000 as we have a bounce and rip. We had a breakout, consolidation, one last dip before the rip. If you guys are more bullish, you guys are still going to have the opportunity to buy, but you guys may not be looking for something as low as a 25,000 or a 24,800. You guys are most likely going to be looking for a low or a high, a high 25,000, a low $26,000 price range here. Am I going to be buying in this zone? Not really. I may be doing some shorter term day trades, but I think we're most likely going to be breaking down below this pretty soon unless we can find a way for Bitcoin to get that solid breakout, which is going to take some really good news or some type of major catalyst. Remember, when we usually come into contact with some of these moving averages, they're usually very robust moves. Breaking above the 50, big move. Breaking above the 20, huge move. Technically, we didn't break above this one because the way it closed and opened, but this was an exception to the rule, and I think part of that is because all the FTX drama that was going on, this may have been a huge move back up here to 23,742 if it wasn't for Sam Bankman Fried being a douchebag, right? We had a couple here, very volatile moves, very volatile moves. Hopefully, if we do break down here, it's going to be something smaller, not something so huge. But historically, we've had some very volatile moves as we've come into contact with these moving averages. So just be aware. June is going to be a blockbuster month. You guys are going to have a lot of fun if you guys are day trading. And even if you guys are just looking at the four hour charts, you guys can see there's been some really easy indicators to tell you guys that rough waters are ahead. Just look at this 200 here. It's gotten way too close for comfort with the 20 and the 50. 
was starting to stagnate here. So if you guys are looking for more trends to follow, it's not really the best time. You really want to see that um, the 20 and the 50 just separate a little bit more, and that's the trend you guys are going to hop onto. If you guys are long-term trend investors, or you guys are looking at the overall trend and making some smaller day trades within that trend, I would say at this point here, we are in that nice sideways trend, it's trying to go to a downward trend, but we're not there just yet on the weekly chart. So you guys aren't gonna be holding for days and days and days. You guys are gonna be holding for hours and hours and hours and maybe up to 36 hours, but you know that even that is pushing it just a little bit. Now, as far as the daily chart, I want you guys to check out this momentum. We do not have a bearish or a bullish divergence just yet. So far, we are coming back down here, nothing too crazy, however, Maybe if we just get back down here a little bit further, forget about the Fibonacci's for just a second, 25,200, that's where that Fibonacci level is kind of at too. Maybe that's where you guys are gonna be more likely to say, hey, that's where we can buck this downward trim. At this point, we're breaking down below the 20 here, even though we just passed the debt selling bill, this debt selling nonsense is going to be a really weird time for the stock market. Again, watch out to see what happens here, but we're most likely heading for a death cross here, and that's gonna be happening towards the end of this month, not the beginning. And if it does happen at the end of this month, the big move will not happen until July, okay? If we find a way to break out, that's a good sign for us, but we should have one solid bounce off of this 200 whenever we come into contact with it later on this month. That's gonna be an easy few hundred dollars if you guys wanna do a nice leverage play, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.